50 k features on a 30,000 rupees laptop? What? Infinix is on a roll, guys. They're back with a brand new InBook series laptop. Model is Y2 Plus, just launched today in the Indian market. And we actually have a unit in the house for unboxing and review. And this can literally be like the barp of all budget laptops, guys. I mean, the kind of specs and features it offers for a sub 30k laptop, right? It's crazy, I would say. First of all, it packs like a 15.6 inches large 1080p native resolution IPS level display. On top of that, you're also getting like Intel's 11th gen platform available in both i3 and i5 edition. Today in the house, we have the i5 variant 1155G7 CPU paired with Iris XC graphics and also comes with like PCI Gen 3 SSD, 16 gigs of LPDDR4X RAM and also supports 65 watt fast charging as well. I'm like pretty excited to unbox and check out the performance of this thing. Let's quickly get started with the video. Our brand new InBook Y2 Plus came in this sort of box packaging. Packaging looks very similar to their other InBook series laptop. And by the way guys, before you forget, make sure to like this video and hit the notifications bell icon on so you can stay up to date with all my videos. Quickly unboxing it, we have a couple of accessories as well. And there you go, our brand new InBook Y2 Plus laptop at the top. And by the way, this laptop is available in three different colors. Today in the house, we have the blue color edition. And along with that, you're also getting a 65 watt Type-C fast charger included in the package and some paperwork. Just make sure to read that. There you go, Infinix all new InBook Y2 Plus in the hands and initial impressions, laptop actually looks quite premium for the price point. No way it actually looks like a budget sort of laptop. Entire body is made of like metal guys, aluminum alloy to be precise and definitely looks premium. We especially have the blue color edition today and this looks quite attractive in person guys. If you talk about the design right, clean and modern design, you just have the Infinix logo at the center and that's it, nothing else. Office goers or professional people will definitely like the look of this laptop. If you ask about the fingerprints, it's a metal body, right? It does seem to attract a bit of fingerprints over usage. So you might have to keep cleaning it once in a while. But apart from that, if you talk about the dimensions, laptop is definitely a thin and light category laptop. Look at the thickness. It only has around like 0.71 inches thickness. And talking about the weight, it is pretty much manageable, I would say, for a 15.6 inch laptop. It weighs around 1.76 kgs. So let me give you a closer look at all the sides and talk about the available connectivity ports. Starting off from the left side, you're getting a full-sized HDMI port, one USB 3.0 port is there, one Type-C port is available which also doubles up for charging the laptop, followed by a tiny status LED indicator. There is nothing on the front side and going to the other corner, this is where you have a couple of other ports which include one more USB Type-A port, a 3.5mm headphone jack is also there, a second Type-C port is available and a micro SD card reader. So that is pretty much it, these are all the available connectivity ports on the Y2 Plus laptop. Having a closer look at the bottom side, here's how the down profile looks like. Clean and minimalist design guys, you just have the Infinix details at the center, rubber foot pads on all the corners and you see these tiny grills on the left and right sides. These are your speakers. It features stereo speakers powered by DTS audio. Well that's it, our complete overview on the exteriors. Now let me quickly open up the laptop and show you the interiors as well. Oh, that is nice. You can actually open the lid of this laptop using a single hand. And there you go. Here's how the Infinix Y2 Plus laptop looks like. Now, first of all, starting off from the upper half section, you're getting a 15.6 inches 1080p native resolution IPS level display. And man, look at those bezels. Very narrow bezels, right? Especially for a budget sort of laptop. On the bottom, you do have a bit of chin with the Infinix branding. And at the top side, this is where you have the webcam. You are actually getting a 1080p full HD webcam that to it dual LED lighting. The laptop features a white LED backlit chiclet keyboard and quality of the keyboard is nice. Keys felt tactile and clicky. Even the keycap quality is nice and key travel was also comfortable. I've been using it for the last couple of days and had an overall comfortable experience. And not to forget since it has like white LED backlighting, you can even adjust the brightness on the go using these function keys. Coming down to the touchpad, man look at the size of this touchpad. Definitely a premium glass covered touchpad and it was working very well. I didn't face any sorts of dead zone issues anywhere. It was easily recognizing all my inputs and gestures and was working well during my usage. Even the quality of the integrated buttons were nice, tactile and clicky. I know you people are like pretty excited to jump directly into the benchmarks and performance, but first no display First of all, this laptop features like a 15.6 inches large display and comes with 1080p native resolution IPS level display. And display quality is actually pretty good at this price point, guys. I was not expecting that. Since you're getting 
getting like 1080p resolution at 15.6 inches everything looks crisp and clear good amount of detail no matter what sort of content you're watching i have watched variety of contents like youtube videos and also a couple of movies and web series on ott platforms like netflix and you know other platforms and had like a pretty good experience now talking about the colors now obviously it's an ips level panel and supports up to 83 percent srgb color gamut range and overall color quality and color accuracy was pretty decent for this price point i mean see there are so many laptops with these sort of configuration in the market which are much more expensive still come with like a va panel guys but you're actually getting ips over here so that definitely makes a difference so this is not only good for like regular office work or day-to-day -day sort of usage you can even use it for a little bit of productivity and creative sort of applications because of that srgb color gamut range so definitely good for your photoshop sort of usage and if you talk about the contrast levels and black levels they were also fine good and acceptable for this price point now talking about the brightness the brand says that this panel can go up to like 250 260 nits of brightness and brightness was fine for indoor sort of usage but if you're using this laptop maybe in like outdoor situations you're sitting in your balcony right there you might feel that the brightness is tad a bit less so this is something i felt during my usage but apart from that right on the overall now very satisfactory and good quality display is what i can say even the viewing angles are also really good all thanks to its ips panel now keeping the display aside let me talk about the speakers as well you are actually getting powerful stereo speakers on board and audio quality is like really good at this price point i was not at all expecting this guys i mean i have reviewed a couple of infinix laptops in the past also but compared to that infinix has definitely improved the audio segment everything feels crisp and clear especially if you're listening to any sort of dialogues right everything is like audible and easily understandable output is also like pretty much loud and satisfactory you don't need a separate bluetooth speaker for day to day sort of usage it's like a total package at this price point guys display speakers and performance ah now comes the performance part you people were like excited for this right so first let me tell you the specs as i've told you y2 plus is available in two variants you get intel's 11th gen i3 and i5 edition today in the house we have the i5 variant so this is actually powered by intel's 11th gen i5 1155g7 which is a four core eight thread cpu with a max turbo clock of up to 4.5 gigahertz there's no dedicated gpu i mean come on you can't even ask that question for this price point you're only getting like built-in iris xe graphics and paired with that you're getting 16 gigs of lpddr4x ram and also 512 gb pci gen 3 ssd and combined i think it is a very well balanced configuration around this price point i have been using this laptop for the last couple of days and i've done like variety of things like creative productive day-to-day -day office related work and also a bit of gaming and i was actually quite impressed with the performance that i5 11th gen 1155 g7 is a really good cpu around this price point you can easily use it for your office related works maybe like text editing ppt presentations and everything was running like muska what office related works i've even done photoshop also and had like a pretty smooth experience basic 1080p video editing can also be easily done over here so this laptop is like great for students who want to do like programming coding on budget or maybe if you want to learn some sort of productivity skills right you can definitely do those sort of work over here now some people will ask about the gaming performance can this laptop actually play games first of all keep in mind that this is a budget sort of laptop man there is no dedicated gpu you're only getting like built-in iris xe graphics but that doesn't mean you cannot game on it you can actually play a couple of games like gta 5 also at both 720p and 1080p resolution as well to show you people in this video we will actually play gta 5 over here on this system and check out the results as you can see we are playing gta 5 right now that to a 1080p resolution and the graphics were set around like medium to high sort of settings and on an average as you can see we were getting around 40 42 fps on an average that is actually pretty good right for a sub 30k laptop yes you can easily play these sort of casual games at 1080p settings if you actually lower down the resolution to maybe like 720p right you can aram say hit over 60 fps also we're almost coming to an end so let me tell you about the battery life y2 plus features a 50 watt hour built-in battery and battery life was actually pretty good around this price point if you're using this laptop on a moderate sort of usage with the brightness set to around like 50 percent and you're doing a bit of web browsing or maybe like text editing and also maybe watching a couple of youtube videos right you can expect around six to seven hours of battery life and not to miss out it also supports 65 hour type c fast charging and you can charge the laptop up to 75 percent in just 60 minutes 
Well, that's it. Our detailed video on Infinix All New InBook Y2 Plus. It's a value for money, affordable 11th gen iFi laptop in India. You're getting excellent display, good performance, and all the features you might be looking for around this price point. Only few things, if I had to nitpick, is the laptop doesn't come with MS Office bundled, and you'll have to buy that separately. And second thing is brightness of the display, as I've told you, is tad a bit less. But apart from that, everything else is fine. And lastly, talking about the price, we still don't have any information on the exact pricing details because this laptop was under embargo while making this video but we do have an estimation that pricing of this laptop is going to start under 30,000 rupees once I get all the details I'll definitely update you guys in the description box below along with sharing a link so stay tuned for all the updates make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to my channel for more such awesome videos and I'll see you all in my next one